All right, CJ, back with the Manitoba Moose and fully healthy after a bit of an injury with the Winnipeg Jets, I guess. Just how does it feel getting back on the ice with your teammates here at the Moose? Um, it's awesome. You know, the, the culture here is um, something fun to be a part of. And um, to get back out there skating and with games to come is pretty fun. Uh, getting into a, a couple of games there with the Winnipeg Jets, I guess, what did you learn about your own game? Um, and why, I guess, what are you hoping to develop now with Manitoba Moose for when you go back with Winnipeg Jets? I guess what you can uh, do better when you're back up there. Um, just kind of getting up back up to speed. Um, you know, it's, it's a fast game and um, just hoping to get my legs back to where they were before because I felt like I was kind of in a good place there, um, getting in right positions and, you know, using my speed to kind of attack. And um, towards the end of my time there, I felt like I was doing that. Um, and, yeah, I'm just looking forward to kind of getting back at it and getting my legs going. And with Manitoba here too, I mean, they're in the midst of a Calder Cup playoff race. You know, there's definitely chances to make that playoff push. Um, so what does that mean to be part of this playoff push here with the Moose um, as they roll around here in the next couple of months? Um, it's always it's always more fun when you're when you're chasing something down right, and it, when you, when you can come and um, contribute towards towards Calder Cup or, or try to help the team kind of progress towards there. Um, it's something that you always want to work towards, and um, when you're running, it's a good time. Jake, go ahead. Um, just for you, uh, you know, coming back down or uh, whatnot, I know you talk about the culture here. Um, what about it is so, you know, fun to be a part of and, and exciting, especially when you're coming back after, you know, obviously being sent down isn't the best result, but, you know, coming back to a place like this, it seems to be made a bit easier um, for you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's some place where I, where I started this year off right and kind of started to build kind of the culture around with the guys who are here. And um, I'd say it's just kind of the attitude in the locker room um, and, and the guys pick each other up. And, and, and um, you know, ultimately, I think that transforms onto the ice. And uh, it's, it's great to be a part of. Um, during this stint, um, with this most recent stint uh, with the Jets, what is the biggest thing that you learned um, off the ice or on the ice and just a general takeaway from what that experience was? Uh, positioning. Um, you always got to be in the right position and players are so good that um, if, if you have a breakdown, they're going to attack you and, and they're going to take advantage of it. Um, so so being in the right positions all the time is, is key. Um, for someone like, uh, you know, I know you're starting the full, but, you know, Mikey Isimon, I know you've played um, on the team here with him for obviously – quite a bit of the season and um, just his, his tenacity is something that a lot of the Moose players have been talking about and his ability to get under opponent's skin and, you know, just be hard on the four check. How valuable is that to have in your lineup and, and in games where, you know, no matter how much skill there is, you still need guys like that to kind of push the needle there. Yeah. It keeps the energy up on the bench and it keeps guys going. Um, it's something that guys can follow and um, his love for the game and the passion kind of pushes other guys to do the same. Um, and he plays the same way, no matter who we're playing or, or what the score is. So it's good to have that on the team and around the locker room and um, guys can build off that.